What's up my peeps here with a jam-packed episode of Xbox Series X news and just Xbox news in general bunch of stuff here today First off a retailer went ahead and sent out a bunch of notifications about Xbox Series X pre-orders on top of that Xbox has went ahead and removed an Xbox Series X logo from all their upcoming games some Xbox games that just went free out of nowhere that you guys can download and Xbox has already taken shots at PlayStation due to the news today. So earlier today, Telstra, an internet service provider in Australia and also the only retailer over there that offers Xbox All Access, went ahead and sent out mass text messages to everybody that signed up to find out when they're going to be able to pre-order the Xbox Series X. And this text message that they sent out indicates that the Xbox Series X should be available for pre-order very soon. So two people have posted up their screenshots of the text, TLZ from NeoGAF and Bruce Harry from Reddit. So this is coming from multiple people, even people in the comment section are saying that they got the same text. So the text reads, you've signed up to receive information about the Xbox Series X. Pre-order for the Xbox Series X with Xbox All Access will open soon. This offer is exclusive to Telstra customers, blah, 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 blah. Uh, rest isn't important here. I mean, they're not lying though. It's, it is exclusive to them because apparently in Australia, that is the only retailer that offers Xbox All Access. And keep in mind, these aren't welcome text messages. The NeoGAF user made sure to point out that he's been signed up for a while now, but everybody just got this today that signed up for this. And with this message also being sent out today and in the month of August, this might indicate that the next Xbox show, they might actually go ahead and put the Xbox, or announce that the Xbox Series X is going up for pre-order. That'd be great, hopefully that'd be the case. And if it is, then I think Microsoft's gonna be putting the Xbox up for pre-order prior to Sony putting up the PlayStation, because we now know that in PlayStation show on Thursday, there's gonna be no pre-order information. So, unless Sony has another show like right after, before Microsoft, I think we're gonna see Xbox put those pre-orders up first, unless of course it doesn't happen in August, which wouldn't make much sense, seeing as how this this text says that they're going to be opening up Xbox Series X pre-orders soon and also they said that they're going to be available with Xbox All Access and in case you don't know that's Microsoft's program that allows you to pay off a brand new Xbox by paying a low monthly fee per month instead of just buying it outright and paying like 400 bucks or whatever the price of the Xbox Series X is going to be and with that monthly payment they also include Game Pass Ultimate so you're not just getting a brand new Xbox for a low monthly fee with no interest due but you're also getting all the first party games, of course, day one, and all the games that come with Game Pass on PC and Game Pass on Xbox. So it's a pretty good deal and a good option for people who don't want to go ahead and spend four or 500 at once and would rather split their payments. And I mean, you saw the pre-order text mention it, say that, hey, the Xbox Series pre-orders with Alexis are going to be available. And you're likely going to see that mentioned a lot from Microsoft because I think they're going to push it hard, especially with the prices of the next-gen consoles by making Xbox All Access available in more places and really promote it. Let people know that, hey, you don't need to pay four or 500 outright for the Series X. You can instead purchase the Series X for a low monthly payment of 25 per month for two years and along with that you'll have Game Pass Ultimate included as well and we know it's going to be part of their strategy because Phil himself mentioned it when he talked about the Xbox Series X price with IGN and said he feels confident about the price. I feel good about the price that we're going to be able to get to. I feel good about the price and the, the performance capabilities that we have with Series X. You guys were talking a little bit about Xbox All Access and the way the price of these consoles has actually changed a little bit now with so many people taking advantage of kind of, of acquiring your console in more of a subscription motion or almost more the way you get a phone as opposed to um, an all-in-one price. All right, now let's talk about Xbox removing things once again. And I'm not talking about gold this time, at least not yet. So as you all know by now, or if you don't, there's this thing called smart delivery on the Xbox Series X where if you get a game on the Xbox One, you can go ahead and upgrade it for free to the Xbox Series X version. And also there are instances where a lot of the games are on both the Xbox One and Xbox Series X, but there is no smart delivery, maybe because the company chose to not participate in the program or whatever, it's a third party. Either way, what Microsoft was planning on doing from the previews that we saw to let you know that, hey, there's a difference between this version of the game and the Series X version, 
uh, is they would tell you that, hey, the Xbox Series X version is optimized for Xbox Series X, which would mean that it'll have better load times, visuals, frame rates, all that good stuff. And to make sure that people knew when they were out trying to buy a game or whatever that the game was optimized for Series X, they were going to go ahead and put a big green logo on the box art. And to put it simply, people just didn't like it. They felt it looked ugly, it was too big. And they wanted it to be like more discreet, maybe smaller, maybe in the corner, something like that. Uh, so the good news is, today, Microsoft went ahead and listened and Xbox has removed the Optimize for Series X logo from the box arts apparently. And now they're going to be at the back of the box in a more discreet fashion. So good guy Microsoft listened and uh, pulled through. Good stuff here. Now, in case you missed the news from earlier today, Sony announced all the PS4 accessories that will be compatible with the PS5, something that people have been waiting to find out for a while. And if you want the full list, check out my video, but the biggest thing to come out of it is that the PS4 controller will not work with PlayStation 5 games. And so that's been a big topic of discussion since the news went out, and uh, it didn't take long for Xbox to go ahead and take a jab at Sony for this announcement. And it wasn't just one person from Xbox, but multiple. Because unlike with the PS5, with the Xbox Series X, you can go ahead and ring over your Xbox One controller and play your Xbox Series X games, all Xbox Series X games. And people over at Xbox made sure to point that out after PlayStation's announcement. Xbox Major Nelson, for instance, when he made a tweet about Halo, he went ahead and said, Halo Infinite includes split-screen couch gaming across both campaign and multiplayer. Save some of your Xbox One controllers, they will all work with Xbox Series X. Samuel Bateman, marketing lead at Xbox UK and Xbox On, said just a reminder that you can use all your Xbox One controllers with the Xbox Series X, both Xbox One and Xbox Series X games. This includes the Elite Series, blah 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 blah, you get the point. And then the biggest one of all, the official Xbox UK page, after the announcement went ahead and tweeted this out. Xbox Series X is backwards compatible with all Xbox One controllers across all games and then went ahead to list all the Xbox controllers. So yeah, Xbox is definitely taking this time to let people know that hey, while you can't use the PS4 controller on your PS5 games, you can use your Xbox One controllers on all Xbox Series X games. And I said this in my PS5 accessories video that I did today, I think more people are going to appreciate the compatibility of the Series X after the announcement from today that the PS4 controller or DualShock 4 wouldn't work with the PlayStation 5. Now on to the free games. So yesterday, six backwards compatible Xbox games went ahead and went free all of a sudden. And they went free in different Microsoft Store regions. But since there is no region lock, you guys can get all of these. But you gotta download them from the Microsoft Store link where they're actually free. So the games are Destroy All Humans, Ikaruga, Custom Quest, Juju, Star Wars, Jedi, Starfighter, and Sensible World Soccer. I did hear you might need gold for Star Wars though, but you shouldn't need gold for the rest. Anyways, I'll leave the link so you guys can download them in the description box and I'm out. See ya.